Hey guys, this is Thomas with Thomas Vision Reef. We're here at Pure Reef here in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm here with Alan of Red Sea. Thank you so much for meeting me here, uh, Alan. You're welcome. Thank you for your interest in our products. Oh, no, no problem at all. So as you guys know, for the past three weeks, I have been doing a kind of documentary type series on the Red Sea Reef Care program. So Alan, why don't you tell us a little bit about why Red Sea decided to develop this program? Okay, Thomas, the, um, the point to the Red Sea Reef Care program basically is to supply the aquarist with a complete solution to set up their reef tank and maintain the chemistry and the health of their corals from start to finish without a lot of confusion. Um, basically, one of, the, one of the biggest problems that aquarists have, especially when they're starting out, and even further down the line, even as they're, they become bigger and bigger hobbyists, is the information chain comes from so many different places. It's very difficult to determine what you really need and what you don't really need. Yeah. And then how to implement different things together to come up with the proper result. So what we've done with the Red Sea Reef Care Program, we looked at this problem from the outside and said, okay, so how can this be solved? And that's really one of the biggest, the biggest, most important features to the program is the fact that this is designed to solve this problem. If you understand that from the start, it's much easier to implement it from there and get the results that you're looking for. So basically, what they determined was that there are a number of different facets that are important to reef care. There's lots of different things you can do with a reef tank. There's lots of different things you can put into it, but there are particular things that day in, day out are very important and must be dealt with accordingly in order to get the best results from your reef tank. So this is where the reef care program came from. Uh, basically what they did was they researched this program for five years uh, in the labs in Red sea, at Red Sea. They did multiple, multiple tests on corals, tanks, the whole nine yards, soft corals, stony corals, all of it, and basically determined a number of things that were really important mm -hmm. to the reef care hobby. One was, what elements are they using? Okay. okay. Um, so basically what they determined is that there's 36 elements that they use day in, day out. Okay, out of all the elements in the ocean, 36 of them are absolutely necessary for particular biological functions. So they then included them in the line. Uh, five of them are in the foundation elements, 31 of them are in the colors um, supplements. They then looked at, at elsewhere at uh, what else is important, okay? Beyond the elements that they're using, the next importance comes with nutrient control. Uh, this is our algae control program basically controlling nitrate and phosphate. Next in line is food, nutrition. The corals gotta eat. Uh, Reef Energy is Red Sea's solution to coral food. Um, basically what they uh, determined throughout the process was not only what those elements are and what the important factors are, but also at what levels they are important, and this is something that's unique. Um, like with the foundation elements, they are. It's important not only to have calcium and magnesium and alkalinity and strontium and barium and all that in the system, but to have them at specific levels makes a great difference as to how well your coral functions, how well it can grow, how well it, you know, can do all of its things. Um, so. With the reef care program, basically they determine specific numbers to hit, okay. rather than random numbers. And that's, uh, that's another important feature of the reef care program that's very different from other lines. Uh, other chemical companies will give you a, a, a random parameter that meets about whatever you might find at various fish stores and online and all that, and you can kind of decide to go wherever you mm -hmm. want with that. Yeah. Ours is different, like for instance, our reef foundation program, uh, the foundation A, that's a calcium, strontium, and barium supplement. We have specific numbers of calcium we want you to hit. Mm -hmm. For ultra low nutrient system, we want you to be at 430. For LPS tank, we want you to be at 440. 465 if you've yep. got 
frags you're trying to And that's to what we're shooting profile. for in, in my tank, yep. S465. Mm -hmm. And so these aren't random numbers, these are specific numbers. And the reason for that is because the coral will perform better depending upon what you're trying to do with it at those numbers. And the next thing that's important is that they relate properly to each other. So the alkalinity, the reef foundation B, and the magnesium, the reef foundation C, those are also properly coordinated with each other. So when you're using, for instance, the charts on our, on our uh, chemicals, uh, I know you've seen them, maybe you'll show them along the way in, uh, in your videos, but basically it says, I tested this, I'm dosing this to come to this number. When you're using a specific column on that chart, it's going to relate properly to the other chemicals as well, and that's important, because not only are you getting the accurate magnesium, the accurate alkalinity, the accurate calcium, but they also are all going to relate properly to each other. This is going to form ionic strength, and it's going to stay in solution better, and your coral is going to be able to utilize it better. So this is a big deal. Uh, beyond that, with the other elements, um, another really revolutionary situation that uh, Red Sea came up with is there's a relative uptake of all of the elements that are important to the coral relative to each other. Okay, So they take up a very consistent amount relative to each other element. Uh, so what we've done with the colors program, trace and minor elements, is really unique. Um, most trace and minor elements are not testable mm -hmm. um, by the hobby by the hobbyist, um, but we've determined a way to test them based on calcium uptake or okay. dose them based on calcium uptake. Uh, and this is really unique to the market as well. Any other trace element or minor element supplement on the market, you either have to sp test the specific element, mm -hmm. which is possible with iodine, potassium, and iron, mm -hmm. but not with other trace elements, a lot of the other fluorine, bromine, you know, that are in this mm -hmm. one as well. Uh, boron, you know, the hobbyists can't test these things. So we allow you to test them very accurately or at least measure them very accurately based on your calcium uptake. Okay. And that's unique to this system as well. Um, so basically the, the real gist is the main point to this program is to give you a roadmap. Mm -hmm. This gives you every product that's necessary to maintain the chemis chemistry in the aquarium properly. It gives you the numbers that you want to hit. It gives you accurate test kits to use so that you can measure those numbers and then dose accordingly. Mm -hmm. It gives you simplistic instructions to do the same. And it allows you to take all that guesswork and eliminate it. Okay. And basically just follow the program, starting with salt. Mm -hmm. You get your parameters correct with the salt up front. You then move on to uh, foundation elements. You then move on to algae control, reef energy, coral mm -hmm. nutrition, and then on to colors. And if you do it in that stage, stepping stage, then you end up with optimal results. Yeah. Okay. Well, Alan, thank you so much for talking to us. I think we're going to go look at my tank uh, right now and see what the parameters are. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And uh, have a great day. You too.